you ever had one of those days where you're just staring at a blank screen and you don't know what you're going to do next? Yeah, I'm having one of those days. And oh, look what a gorgeous day it is outside. Nope, nope, gotta work, gotta work, gotta work. Tick, 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 tick. And in conclusion, in conclusion, oh, in conclusion, I, I don't want to do this. You know what I need? I need a snack. Oh, let's go get a snack. Hmm, yep, as soon as I eat, I should be able to finish this no problem. Oh, I think I was... Yeah! Fresh baked cookies. Oh, nom 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 nom. And now that I have my snack, I think I'm just going to watch a little bit of TV while I'm eating my snack. You know, once it's done, then I'll get back to work. But for now, I'll turn on the TV and I'll just stay here a little bit while I'm eating my snack. Oh. oh man, I really love this. Oh my gosh! What time is it? Ah, quick, TV off. Gotta go work. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. And in conclusion... Welcome back to Mindless Minecraft, everybody. I am Johnny Knowing, and as you may have guessed, today's episode is on procrastination. <laughs> and procrastination is one of those things I've been asked so many times about and I wish I knew the answer to. So today I'm going to tell you what I know about procrastination and what that knowledge can do to help us out in the future. And as always, I like to start out with taking a look at our brain. Ah, yes, the brain. What a great, complicated little organ it is. So today, we're going to be talking about one part of the brain in particular, and that's the amygdala. And the amygdala is down in the back and kind of in the middle. So something to remember about the brain is that, evolutionarily speaking, it developed from the bottom back forward. So... Uh, lizards and those things have the brain stem and then kind of the back part of the brain as you go up the developmental ladder um, you we ended up developing the middle part of the brain and then the forward part of the brain and finally the newest part of the brain is this part right here which is the frontal cortex and the frontal cortex is going to be a big player soon but for right now we're going to look at the amygdala Ah, the amygdala. It's such a happy little part of your brain that's sitting here jazzing away. For our purposes today, the amygdala is involved with feeling good. When the amygdala activates, it floods your body and your brain with dopamine, and dopamine is just a happy little neurotransmitter. It's the neurotransmitter of feeling good. And your amygdala, because it's part of that middle back part of the brain, it really only knows one thing. It's not too smart. If I'm not feeling good, I want to feel good. And what is it out there that will make me feel the most good? And I'm going to get you to do that. So instead of working on homework, which doesn't feel so good, we're going to go watch YouTube, which does feel good. When the amygdala is off, Haha, -ha, your frontal cortex is on, and it's making all the decisions, but when the amygdala turns on, it starts messing with your frontal cortex. It is a really powerful part of your brain, even though you're like, I know that I should be doing work, your amygdala says, yeah, but that doesn't feel good, so I'm going to make you think that this other thing is a good idea. So I'm going to rename the amygdala to the instant gratification brain. 
and my instant gratification brain is so much more interested in feeling good than it is in doing anything else. So it's going to go, man, I've got to do a paper, but instant gratification, look, there's a roller coaster right here. I'm going to go on it. Whee! This is awesome! Oh, I'm so instantly gratified. And then as that starts to wear down, you start saying, huh, I should really be doing my paper right now. And because of that, because of this guilt that you have, you're not actually enjoying this great roller coaster. You are in the dark playground where fun cannot be had even though that's all you try to do because it is just riddled with guilt. So you're in a place where you are not having fun and nor are you actually getting anything done. Huh, I should really go get that paper done. But instant gratification brain is going, no, I'm just gonna watch one more YouTube video. Woohoo! This is great, but now I'm starting to feel guilty again and Man. So you may be asking, but Johnny knowing, I do get my papers and projects done. If the instant gratification brain is constantly stopping me, why can I do it? And that's because there's this thing called the last minute panic monster. Ah! Oh no, I've run out of time. It's due right now. It's the morning of. I gotta go, 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 go. Oh no, now I'm out of time. Ah! Run, run. Oh, I saved it. That was a close one. I am never doing that again. <laughs> Procrastination is something that we all have to deal with, and the dark playground is a place that we are all very familiar with. So how do we get out of here? Well one way is the last minute panic monster. Ah! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! There are other ways to get out of here other than the last minute panic monster. And I must have discovered one of those ways. Join me next time as we take a look at all sorts of different ways to get out of this ugly place and to a place where we can have more fun and get our work done. As always, thank you all very much. Woo! It was nice getting to spend time with you and I hope that you join me again. I am Johnny Knowing. Leave a like, subscribe, and be sure to check that back next time for the exploration of getting out of the dark playground. Bye. I'm free! <laughs> Woo! Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> yeah.